<laughs> Hello, I run my, yay, we're on. Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh, I'm two minutes late. I was ready and now I'm late. Well, why isn't this working? There we go. Um, and I want to mute myself. There we go. Hello, everyone. It is me, Adam Ratliff. Adam's so fun and I am alive. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I'm, things are dropping off my design wall. Where's that other block? Oh, it's off of it. Um, oh my gosh. I should just put a pin in them. My blocks keep dropping. Stop. Stop. Stay. My blocks keep dropping and um, I'm rolling around on them. Hi, Bryce. Long time no chat. <laughs> okay, so first thing first. It is Easter time. And what does that mean? It is the best candy of the year. Mm, I love Cadbury eggs. Um, for those of you, so these are nerds, big chew nerd jelly beans. These are just okay in case, like we're gonna start with candy. These are just okay. If you, um, I love a nerds cluster. And what a nerds cluster is, is a gummy center that has nerds all around it. They are so good. I could eat a whole bag. Um, if you've ever had a nerds rope, if you cut it into pieces, that would be a nerds cluster. So Ben got me nerds jelly beans because he's like, it's the best candy time of the year. So you probably need this. I'm not all into it. There's only four flavors. That's just not enough. There's just not enough. Oh my gosh, you guys, my knee is killing me today. I had to make an appointment with the doctor. It's the knee that I had surgery on a few years ago, and I think I might have to go and have another surgery. I'll keep you up to date. Uh, I can't get in for a few weeks, which is fine because I'm be on the road. But um, yeah, so good candy. We got uh, the Cadbury cream eggs. Although I don't like the regular cream eggs, I like the caramel ones. So Ben bought me some caramel ones, which was very nice. Usually I'm the one who buys him candy, but he bought me candy. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're starting off. Candy is the most important thing. Um, what else is happening? I turned my long arm yesterday on for the first time since before I went to, uh, Africa on the safari. So that was fun. Um, I am going to film, well, there'll be a video on Friday. Um, this evening I'm going to get on and do the free motion part of the safari quilt. And I have to run a project on the side. I did a wide back. So I have this big area. That's what I'm looking at as I'm not looking at the camera. Um, a big area. And I'm going to, Mickey and I are going to be in Bemidji, Minnesota. We're teaching. Um, we are teaching. I'm only teaching twice this year. One's in Bemidji. One's at uh, the main quilt show. In June, I think. I should know that. But whatever. Um, if you want to come to either of those. I, the, the main one is probably sold out. I know that they went on sale on the 15th. But um, in Bemidji, we're teaching the 30th, the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd, and the 4th. So um, the 30th and the 1st, and the 2nd, or the 3rd and the 4th, the first two days and the last two days are um, the kind of same set of classes. We do like a little long arm boot camp. You get some rulers, you get some free motion, you get some pro stitcher and everything. But um, we're pretty in depth with what we do. So we tend to go past like the basics, basics. And then we're doing an advanced pro stitcher day. We always do borders and corners because that's what we get asked for. But um, I came up with a project that we're going to do and I'm very excited about it. So yeah, so we're going to be there. So look it up, Bemidji, Minnesota. It's up in the middle of nowhere, Minnesota. Um, but Jay puts on the best, the best, the best events. So we always have a fantastic time while we're up there. Um, Michelle did some first some free motion for the first time in a long time. So that's great. Um, <laughs> some look great, some not so much. And that's okay. Just don't point out the other ones. Hi, Mary. Um, I've been on the road just doing a ton of crazy stuff. I made a bag. Look at this. These these stitches, this, uh, although it looks like embroidery, it's called a Mirage stitch. It's on my M8. So this is actually going to, I'm making a Janome video um, with Mirage stitch. But look at this zipper. Let me, let me grab the, oh my gosh, me. Um, hold on, I'm grabbing stuff. You know me. 
Where's that zipper? You'll like this story because you like when I do dumb things. So, they came in packs that look like this. This isn't the zipper pack, but whatever. The, so, I bought zipper pools, and I bought blue ones, but they have blue and pink and purple and whatever, green, and I got blue. Um, but it came in a pack like this, right? And this is what it looked like, but the zipper. And um, I'm so dumb that... I bit, <laughs> I bit the plastic and ripped it in two. But if I would have just opened this, and this is from my favorite place, Trish Taxo. If I just open this, it was a Ziploc bag. Or not a Ziploc, but a zip top bag. But I just ripped it off. I ripped it, I ate it. I'm so stupid, but whatever. Uh, but look at the zipper. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It keeps going and going and going. She has a lot of good zippers. If you're a bag person, um, Trish Taxo, look her up. I always talk about her. Let me go. I'll link her. TRishTaxo.com. Uh, Bryce knows because he's always shopping with her. Um, she has some really good stuff. If you were in, she was just in... Uh, Mesa at the show down in Mesa, Arizona. So yeah, they have a lot of really great zippers and zipper pools and stuff. I went over there one day. She goes, look what I did. And she opened this box of zippers and I just started laughing. So um, she has cut them all into sizes and stuff. She does a lot of um, bag making and bag classes and such. Let me see what y'all is doing. Hi in Daytona. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, hi, hi. I know it's been so long since I've seen you guys. And then next week I'm going to be traveling again, so I'm not going to see you. I think I'm going to have to change my live day, but I like Tuesdays. Uh, you're still getting used to the Moxie and the Moxie light. Perfect. It takes some time. Just let yourself not be perfect. Um... <clears throat> Is that what this kind of bag is? I saw it on I saw it on an Instagram. It was so easy. I made it in like, well, other than doing the stitches and you know me changing out colors. Uh, I just love this this Mirage stitch. It's like I said, it's gonna be my Janome video. You'll see it on the 29th. Um, let's see. Da -da, she's fast and kind. I'm too funny. Perfect. Um, oh, let me show you this. This is all I can show you. It's the dye to try for AccuQuilt for next month. I can't show you what the other side looks like because then I'll probably get fired. Oh, here, I'll show you the other side. <laughs> I'm so funny. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm dropping stuff on the ground. I'm so excited about that dye to try. Um, it is the cutest thing. I think they're going to sell out. They go on sale on April 2nd. And look on AccuQuilt if you're an AccuQuilter and you like the kind of dyes and such. It is so cute. I'm getting ready to make a bag. And so I am making um, these June Taylor bags. If you haven't seen this, uh, they're project bags. So if you are somebody who can't follow directions, look at my hair. What's my hair doing right here? Right there. Give me scissors. I'm not really going to cut it. This is the stylus is for. Hold on. Fixed it. No, I made it worse. Um, if you are somebody who is like wants to make bags, but you don't really like following directions or it's hard for you to follow directions or you just don't really follow them. Um, these things are nice. I didn't bring the, I brought the other one. I'll show it to you really quick. Ow. They're nice. So these packs are, you're going to get, to, I've shown you I've shown you the pack before it was open, but this is a June Taylor thing. So you're gonna get two different sizes. You get like a a 16 inch and an 18 inch, but it's printed on a substrate, so it's stitch and flip. It's June Taylor. It's stitch and flip. It's so easy. Um, so yeah, so you get a log cabiny one, and you get a square and a square and a kind of square with a sashing one, and so. Um, I'm going to be making these. I just bought some fabric for it. It's all over there. Um, from it's the juicy what the juicy juice. I don't know what his line what the line is called. And I don't think they have a salvage that says. Hold on. This isn't the. This is the line. Whatever this juicy juice line is, I would call it Fabulux. I don't know. 
if somebody knows, let me know. But it's um, I think it's kind of a batik. Maybe not. It's not. It's definitely not a batik. It's not all the way through. But whatever. I love it. And so I'm going to make those, and then I'm going to use the dye to try, and it's going to be beautiful and gorgeous, stunning, fantastic. And people are going to say, oh, my gosh, can I buy that for $100? And it's called Deco Art. Thank you, Lisa. Um, people are going to want to buy it for $100. And I'm going to be like, oh, I can't part with it. How about 150 And then I'll be rich. That's how it is. That's how life goes. Uh, but it comes with vinyl, too, and your zippity doo duns. And I was trying to talk about these before oh that's funny i don't know how they did that somehow the zipper tape's in the middle i mean just having the zipper or not the zipper tape but the zipper in the middle and the whole zipper closed so just having that so you don't have to put the zipper on yourself like yes please um but these are the these are the june taylor zippers and what it is it's like bias tape attached to the zipper you open this up you stick your project in it, you close it. I know it's hard to see because it's black. Oh, love watches, I dramatize. So here's this, I'm gonna open it up. Fabric goes in, let's do the side that's folded. All right, so now I have it on the back and on the front and I just top stitch, done, installed. Oh, I'm holding it too high. And then I just top stitch, done, it's installed. So they're zippity doo duns. So easy. Like the June Taylor girls think of everything. I love it. So I'm gonna make some project bags out of um, Deco Art by Juicy Juice Giuseppe. Um, and I'm excited. And like I said, if you don't like, if the buy any bags are hard for you to like do the, uh, the directions for, there you go. By the, you have a June Taylor one. Um, I made some Biani, Biani bags. It'll be very, it'll be interesting seeing the difference. Although this one's way different because it's like stitch and flip. So uh, let's see. Love the zipper. Need to see your project bags. Um, so I have to finish the project bags before I can show them to you, but hopefully that gets done um, later this week. Uh, you can see my blocks. Um, so this quilt I started because when I am working at shows and stuff, when it gets slow, when I'm with Lorisar, I can press things. So these are the blocks that are pressed open and they're so flat and gorgeous. You saw me pressing that one yesterday. Um, oh, I didn't press the block. I was pressing, what was I? Oh, pressing half square triangles on that video that I made. Um, so yeah, so now I'm getting ready to do this. This is the uh a pattern by our friends over at material girlfriends things are going to drop this is the wowza pattern if you're shopping at material girlfriends um for their digital downloads i think um asf 10 will save you 20 percent so it's always asf 10 it makes it easy but uh, they're good to the channel and they're just good people so do that. Uh, did you say you're doing the zip and flip on the long arm? I'm not going to do it on the long arm. Um, I'm going to do it here uh, just because I have other things that have to happen over on the long arm. But you could. This one's a little different. Um, well, no, you could. This one doesn't use batting. And I think that you can definitely put batting in it. I might put, my, put batting in it, but this one doesn't call for batting. It's just the back and the front and then the substrate. Uh, are you staying up to date on your Quilting Mayhem Block of the Month? Um, Lisa, I am not because I don't have the fabric for this stuff. They're supposed to send it to me. I was supposed to get it um, at the beginning of this month when I was up there, but it didn't get cut yet. So I actually have to send an email like, hey, I'm a month behind. Because now I'm a month behind because I should have had the video out. Once I have it, I'm going to try to get them all done. Um, looks like candles. Oh, they kind of do. Oh, that says candies. Um, Oh, they kind of do. <laughs> I, what did I see earlier? Um, there was, I saw something. I can't, it's like one of those tests. What do you see? Um, it could be, yes, candies. I like that. Uh, it, it could be bats. This would be another like material girlfriend quilt along. This one is, it's very similar, not very similar. It's, um, 
uses layer cakes. It uses 10 inch squares like we did with the uh, open options. And that's what I wanted. So you get, you get two blocks from two 10 inch squares. I like that. Um, do I press all my seams open? I don't usually press my seams open. Um, one of the reasons for that is I would always burn my fingers with my Laura Star um, smart system with the fan. I don't burn my fingers anymore, so I can. Um, I won't press everything open. Like, I like to press to the side, but especially using black, I thought that I would need to press my seam open because I have a yellow, I have an orange, I have a green, and I have a pink. Like, you probably wouldn't see that overhang here. Um, you might see it on the blue, but like with the lighter ones, especially the yellow, um, This is how light the yellow color is. Um, I'm worried that you might be able to see the black through it. So I'm pressing everything open on this. Uh, I am stitching with black thread, which might come back and bite me in the butt too. Oh, Star Wars TIE Fighter. Yes, yes. Um, uh, it might come back and uh, bite me in the butt because like from here to here is black thread with that seam, um, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go for it and eh, I'm gonna use it so it's, it's fine. Um, with open seams, you can't stitch right in the ditch, but I never stitch right in the ditch anyway. I stitch next to the ditch, so I can stitch next to the ditch all I want. Um, one of the reasons, like I can't, I know I'm not gonna stay in the ditch, so I don't even try. So if I were stitching, the ditch, if I were stitching the ditch here, I would be stitching right next to the ditch on the yellow and throwing a stitch right there. And I usually match my, my match my colors. Um, you're not supposed to stitch the ditch. Ultimately, it's your quilt. If you stitch the ditch and you're the best ditch stitcher to ever ditch stitch, say that 10 times fast. Um, we, you, we say you don't stitch the ditch when your seams are um, pressed open because you're oh you're not stitching fabric down you're only stitching threads so like i can pull this and see through because you know there's nothing there but if i stitch right on that yellow as i go down so right next to the ditch it's picking up the yellow it's going to stitch that down so somebody said like your long arm quilter is not going to stitch the ditch and i said my long arm quilter is going to do whatever i want i know him right cheers uh, this cup Yes, it's Christmas. It's festive. Um, <laughs> such a poet. I can't even remember what I said, but I kind of liked it. Um, I got this cup in Daytona. It reminds me of Mickey and Kimberly. Kimberly, it's in the mail. Um, because we went to Starbucks and this was only $5 because it was seasonal and I got a good deal. So I bought one because I needed a cup for water. Um, what else? Uh, so Mirage stitches, just because I need to show them off. If you have a Janome, I think that I know the M7, I know the M8, and I know the M17 will do these. I don't know what else does them. I'll let you know. But look at these stitches. I feel like we're going to, I'm going to flip it because the arrows are going down and they should be going up because everything's good. So this, it looks like, like I said, it looks like it's embroidered. And so I have circles, arrows, diamonds, little dashies, like little squares, water drops, keyholes, weird triangle things. But it's one single stitch. So as you stitch, there, here's those little dashes. This one, I think, is my favorite. I don't know why. Um, as you stitch, so it stitches and it goes back and forth and stitches and goes back and forth. So I used it here to piece these fabrics together on the bag. So like, this is the other half of the bag. I'm going to make a bag out of this one too. Um, you can see on the reverse side, how those pieces are stitched. And you can see that this is actually, this thread is actually not stitched in. Like I can stick my if I try really hard, if I grab something else, see how that pin can go under that thread? 
So when you, when you do it like this, you actually fold the fabric and like stitch next to the fabric and it does this for you. It is so cool. Um, this one, I'm kind of bummed because I used a different stabilizer that I shouldn't have. Uh, this really look, works great with, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? It's called Badge Master. Hold on, I gotta stand up. Oh, my knee. My knee hurts. Uh, and I told myself, don't lose this. It's not that. Well, I can't find the wrapper. I'm so dumb. I like literally just opened it like two days ago, but it's this. So this is, this is Badge Master. It is a water soluble, um, like heavyweight stabilizer. Although it doesn't, it's weird because it doesn't feel heavy and like it's translucent. But um, I used it on these and it had zero issues at all. Um, I used a different kind of heavyweight stabilizer here and I wasn't super happy. If I like zoom into the pink, you can see where like the um, bobbin pulled up, but these are variegated. These are Fantastico threads. So they are like in variegated embroidery threads from Superior Threads. Love them. Oh my gosh, I love to work with these. Um, had zero issues on my M8. I, I just have been sewing a lot. I did realize today that I've been sewing a lot, but nothing for me. Like everything's like work or, or video or whatever. It's like, come on, let me do something. I have been playing in EQ, have some exciting news. I'm going to, uh, the girls at EQ are gonna come on the channel probably in April. <coughs> Excuse me, probably in April. Um, for those of you who don't know EQ, e, um, EQ or Electric Quilt is a program that lets you digitize your own designs. So they're gonna be coming on the channel um, hopefully I can get a discount code for you guys, but um, they're going to come on the channel, do a little preview of their programs of EQ and of block base. So uh, we just have to get some times figured out there. Um, but I'm excited because I have been using it a lot more. I have like um, so a bunch of like quilt patterns that I need to like write patterns for so I can sell them. Um, Oh, you're taking lessons now. How are they? Well, just kidding. You just said they're taking, you're taking lessons and they're great. Um, that's the one thing I never did. I never like went and got into taking lessons um, just because I'm always on the go. But I wish I'll make sure I ask them that question. Um, you saw my little robot quilt. I don't have it. It's hanging in Trish Jack. So, but um, this was a little robot quilt. This robot fabric is Robo Boogie. Um, by Sugary Do, Irene. So cute. Oh my gosh. These are two blocks that didn't make it. I don't know how I had two that didn't make it, but whatever. Uh, I did. So now I can make a pillow. I, whatever. Um, oh, they're, they're classes you can go at your own pace. I do like that because a lot of us get really busy. Um, I love their workbooks. I think their, their like educational workbooks for EQ are fantastic because it's, um, they're like project based. So you, you're working on a project as you go through. Um, I got this fat quarter pack last week from Benner text and, or this isn't a fat quarter. These are char. This is a five inch square. I can't say charm pack. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. Um, I was at classes or on the other side of the, of the curtain last week. Um, Oh my gosh, who is the fabulous lawyer quilter? I just totally went, Amanda Murphy. I was like, I'm going to go read. I think this is hers. Um, Amanda Murphy was teaching and I kept like sneaking around. Oh my gosh, I love her books. I love what she does. She's a great teacher. I'm covered in thread, but we're quilters. Um, da -da 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 -da. Every month... Oh my God, three, six, nine, 12 lessons. That's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> workbook lessons, so good. Perfect. Uh, what else? Is there any, what am I supposed to talk about? I don't even know. Um, I'm trying to think. 
I do have, like, uh, I'm working on Pop Goes Your Scrap Bin. I'm going to meet Beth next week at a workshop, so I want to get ready. <gasps> Roberta, you get her to meet Beth? That's going to be fun. Tell her I said hello. I was texting her with her yesterday. Um, she's a hoot. You're really going to like her. She doesn't take life seriously. Oh, I forgot. I knew there was something important. The new Glidefoot 3 is out. Since most of you are long armors. So, oh, my coffee order just got here. Which is nice. I just ordered it like yesterday evening. The new Glidefoot 3. What's different from the Glide Thre the Glidefoot 3? Do I need to sign for it? One second. Thank you. I'm coming, I'm coming. Sorry. Um, so yes, this is the new Glidefoot 3. It ha gosh, this is this looks heavy duty, man. This is what it looks like. This does look like, oh my God. Where was this seven years ago? So there's a metal ring in there. So no more breaking. I hope, I hope there's no more breaking. Um, the, it's just, I love that there's circles now. Indicators, I don't think mine has that. Gosh, there's some heft. So HQ has the new Glidefoot 3. So it should fit on any machine. Now I feel like I need to go put this on there. I don't know where a hex screw is. Um, also, oh, I'm excited for that. So go out, call your local retailer, say, I need the Glidefoot 3. Like the guides on it. Let me see. Let me, um, I wonder, I wonder. Let me see something. Uh, actually, Andy and Quilter Glide. Do they already have it on? No, 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 no. I was like, I wonder if Amazon has it yet. Nope, I don't see it on there. Call your local retailer. Say, I want the, I want the Glidefoot 3. You can probably get it from HandyQuilter.com straight from them. Um. But why not? Why not shop local? Shop local, um, Michelle. As soon as you say that you uh, your glide foot doesn't break, that's when they break. I had the original glide foot, which for those of you who don't know, the original glide foot had. I'm trying to think of how big the hole was. This is a four millimeter crochet hook. The hole was like that big. It was small. It was like just enough for the needle to go in. Um, so at some point, they made that hole a little bit bigger. They didn't tell anybody. They just started making the hole bigger. And then at some point, that uh, the Glidefoot 2 came out, which they changed the shape of the disc. So because the disc used to be thinner, so it wasn't as wide. It wasn't as like... It was more of a quarter. Now it's more of a half dollar. Um, so it was thinner and taller. So now it's wider and more shallow. Um, and that's when the two came out. And then all of a sudden, that's when I noticed there's a big old hole in that. So the three has a metal ring. Oops, has a metal ring in there now. And that metal ring is going to keep you from breaking it. This is just, this is pretty substantial. I wonder, I bet you... You're going to get a new screw. Okay, now I have to go unscrew this. Hold on. Ha! Ow. Okay, this is the nice thing about having taco one and taco two. Okay, 
the original, gosh, this screw is dirty. The original screw from your hopping foot, glide foot three screw. So the screw is substantially longer because this thing is fat. The, oh, why didn't I just grab the foot? <laughs> so, so you can see the difference. This is what the this is the size of the old one, toward versus the size of the new one. So they put the metal disc in there, but kept it surrounded by the plastic part of the foot. So you're going to need that longer screw. Once you change that screw out, you should be able to leave the longer screw in there forever. I don't think if it's if it's coming out the back side of your foot, they all have the hole in the back. I don't think if it's sticking out the back, it's gonna hurt anything. So just so you know, make sure, in case you didn't know, there's always a screw right here in your feet. There should be. So get that screw and change it out. There's your, P your PSA from Adam. It's compatible with all handy quilter long arms or handy quilter equivalents. I wonder if I'm allowed to say that now. So if you have a Janome or a baby lock or a king quilter, you can use a guide to foot three. You know, I'm going to say you should be able to use. I, since I'm not there, I don't know if there's any like weird little things um, to, uh, to say. So I just don't know. Uh, HQ shipping is so expensive. Go get it through your retailer. Perfect. You broke three glide feet this month, Bryce, because that means you're just crazy. <clears throat> um, let's see what else. That thing is big enough to hold dipping sauce. Okay, that's funny. Um, <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? I'm getting all these texts saying your packages arrived. Uh... I don't know if there's anything else. That was the big thing. Um, I got that. I actually got that in Branson, but I haven't shared it with you yet. Um, I think that's it. You guys, my knee is like killing me. Ben said, please go to the doctor. You're always complaining about it, but I don't feel like I always, I have been complaining about it until today. Oh, um, for those of you who are in Arizona, if you went to the Mesa Quilt Show, you might have seen Barb Tatera's quilt. This is the other thing. I got a text from Barb Tatera, who's Sapphire Stitches. You should go follow her. She's an amazing quilter. We always said, Barb, thanks for letting us be on the, um, on the uh, team with you. Um, ooh. Bryce, look at this new Louis bag. Things that come up on my Instagram. I also love this one. Just in case anybody wants to buy me a gift. <laughs> my birthday's in April. <laughs> um, what was I pull? I'm Barb. Um, so, no, I pulled up Barb at a sapphire. Uh, sapphire stitches. So Barb had a quilt at the Mesa Quilt Show. So Barb had this quilt at the Mesa Quilt Show. It is amazingly spectacular. I love this quilt. Sapphire dot stitches. You can go follow her. You can zoom in. You can see it. She's such an amazing quilt. Gosh. Every time I look at this, it's just like more and more. She is just beyond amazing. Um, but this block at the top, this one right there. Wait, where's my finger? That one right there. I made, oh, I just hearted it. Um, I made that block and she won ribbons. So that means I've won a ribbon. So what can I say? I'm an, I'm an award winner quilt, award winning quilter. Okay. Uh, is this live? Yes. Oh, I, so if most of the people, so this is live. Yes. CJMMWC. Um, but you will only be able to see people who are, I'm currently live on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube. So um, you can only see the YouTube stuff, I believe. So most of the people are on Facebook. 
And I don't even know what the Instagrammers are saying because that's over in a whole other screen. Um, so sorry for you Instagrammers that are on the other screen. Um, what else? What else? What else? Is there anything else? Uh, that, that, I don't think there's anything else. I just love that I'm an award-winning quilter now. It's so stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I should tell her, can I borrow one of those ribbons? <laughs> she would probably send me one. Barb to Tara, wall of ribbons. Um, for those of you who have an M7 or an M8 or a Jonomi, do any of you use pre-wound bobbins? Heather, do you use pre-wound bobbins? I have been using the Superior pre-wound bobbins with this machine. And um, I don't know if I'm supposed to. Don't tell them. But I kind of love it. And, like, for those Mirage stitches, I was using that 40-weight thread, the Fantastico. And I got some of the uh, Super Bobs. So this is Super Bob Poly. This is a 60-weight, uh, like, a, a bottom-line-like thread. Uh, this is fantastic. I love it. Especially for that application, I wanted something really thin. It's what I would use if I was embroidering, so I don't know why I wouldn't be able to. But for my other ones, I got some, um, just some cotton to try. So I have the cream, which is like 152. I, I like bisque. That's my color. And um, black. So this is what I'm using here. Along with my ba -ba 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 -ba, Superior Threads Pima. I'm not a liar. I really use it. I love thread. You, you, you have to write. You have to. You have to have the right thread for the right job. So, um, okay. I'm looking around. All I see is a mess. If I'm, if I'm being honest, it's horrible. And every time I come in here, I'm like, I'm gonna clean it, and then I'm like, no, I have work to do. I'm always working. I never get a break. I never get a break. Um, let's see. Pima feels like velvet. Yes, it does. Um, let's see. When, uh, did they actually give her ribbons? No, she did not get a ribbon for everybody in the block exchange. That would be cool, though. No, I think she. I think she, that was just uh, the... Um, the let's see da, da, da. so she only she got ribbons and the category she was just in like group since a group of people made it have you ever tried superior fantastico it's wonderful i have been using superior fantastico it's what i did all of this in with my mirage stitches it's not a mirage now if i started a video like this it's not a mirage would you just turn on, turn it off? You all know me. You are, that's what you expect. It's for people who don't. Uh, Janome has pre rounds and they were great. Oh, check them out. I'm usually with Superior, so I just grab theirs. Um, you're on your second Pima thread, better than other brands. We love that. Um, Irene, uh, let's see. Dina, da da. That better be a TikTok video. No, thank you. Uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, I don't have anything else. I think that's it. We're going to call it quits. I have to go. I have to run to the store. I have to go get some stuff for work. For my work work. You know, work work. Um, I'm looking around. I do feel like there's something I'm missing. Uh, but it is what it is. So next week... Um, so you should have a video Friday. I'm, I had to pull up my calendar. What's today? So you should have a video f this Friday, which is good Friday. Um, and it'll be good because you're going to have a video. <laughs> it'll be a free motion. But it's free motion. Um, it's what I learned, and I learned this from Angel Walters, on how to give, um, like, printed panels texture, like almost fur texture and stuff. So that's what we're going to go over Um We'll do on Friday, and I'm in a free motion. You could probably do it with Pro Stitcher. That's fine. Um, and then you're going to get another video. Next week's won't be on the 5th. It'll be on the 2nd. 
Oh my gosh. And then we will have one on the 12th. Oh my gosh. We're going to have like videos for like next month. That's weird. Um, I'm, I'm kind of like understanding work versus Adam. So fun. Um, the 12th, we have one. What is it? Oh, next week's is going to be on the second because you know why this comes out. And I want you to be able to see what I did with my die to try when it comes out. Long arm thread question. Oh, I love questions. Um, do you use spool? Wait, do you use spool pin base on the signs that I know? Okay. Do you use the spool pin based on the size of the thread base? Okay, sorry, I was not like reading comprehension, I just failed. Do I use a horizontal spool pin based on the size of the thread base? Um, no, I only use the horizontal spool pin if I need a thread that's gonna come off horizontally. So you're saying you have orofill, which is cross wound, and when you use the orofill, um, um, if you are using a cross wound thread, it's always going to come off the top, right? If you're using a straight wound thread, that's when we're going to use the horizontal spool pin because we need it to unroll itself. So, um, I'm trying to look around to see if I have a straight wound thread, but I don't. And I'd have to go over some boxes and into the closet to get one. So if it's cross wound, stick it right on that spool pin. You're going to be fine. And interesting enough, I just found out that on my M8, I can use, like, I don't have to worry about ever putting something on a horizontal spool pin. It, it does something where it fixes, like, the twist to the, to the point where I was using glitter thread the other day, which is this, which is straight wound. Um, and it's like a piece of cellophane. I, any, any tension... And it just snaps. Zero issues. I use that with zero issues on my bag, which I've since lost my bag. There we are. That's what the shiny threads are. Zero issues. Was I just straight stitching? Yes. But I didn't have any thread breaks. And it wasn't coming off the, the spool I thought the way it was supposed to. I need to figure out why that works. I should make a phone call. But um, I was told it did something. So there you are. Um, you know, uh, Dina just got block four for her uh, Quilting Mayhem block of the month, which is the this one, the Kona block of the month. I'm glad you have month four because I don't have it yet. <laughs> uh, hey, Adam, a YouTuber and a huge fan of the new Pro Stitcher would love to collab and interview you. Oh, Siri message, Becky. What do you want to say to Becky? Oh, my gosh. Siri wanted to... Um, Siri was going to send a text message to my friend Becky. Um, that was a lesson learned from personal experience. I'm assuming a thread lesson. So, um, any other questions? Let's do five minutes for questions. Let's see what's going on. I need to talk to my friend Kay. Who's in Salt Lake? I'm gonna be in Salt Lake, up um, at a event with Net, uh, Nettles next week, and she's there. And I'm gonna be like, "Come say hi to me." But I think she's in South Salt Lake, which means I'm gonna tell her, "Don't come say hi to me," because we're gonna be like north of North Salt Lake. Um, what else? <sighs> Roberta, you're correct. Leaving HQ was supposed to give me more time, but then I took a full-time job somewhere else. Weird. And now I have no time. <laughs> Although I am, like, loving things. Oh, Ben and I went to a fashion show. I'm trying to think of what we did in town. We went to a fashion show. I don't think I've seen you since then. It was so much fun. It's such a good time. Um, we got to meet a friend for lunch last weekend. We went to a hockey game last weekend. We went to an, a fundraiser last weekend. We did something. Oh, we went and shopped the fashion show the day after the fashion show because he wanted a shirt. We've been very busy. And then both of us um, 
the next two weeks are crazy because I'm in, I I go out of town, I come home, he goes out of town, then he comes home and I go back out of town. And then it's the end of April. Crazy. Um, all right. If we have no more questions, I'm going to jet. I have, Like I said, I have to go get some stuff for work. I have to run to the store. Um, uh, ooh. Randy was at Daytona. Oh, my gosh. It's Barry's birthday. Let me go get Barry so you guys can all say happy birthday. Fans want to see you, bud. Your fans want to see you. Look. He looks like a little ragamuffin. Look, buddy. No, look here. Oh, I woke him up. It's Barry's birthday. He's a big four. Oh, my gosh. So, for those of you who don't know, Barry's three and a half pounds. This is Barry, and this is my Starbucks cup. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. He's like, please let me go back to bed. But Oz, you can't come in here. It's not your birthday. Oh, he's so cute, though. Um, yeah, so the dogs are good. I need to go back and read what this person said about procedure and the tablet. I know nothing what's happening at Handy Quilter or procedure anymore because I'm not working there. They are so hush hush, even when you work there. But um, let's see, Randy was looking at Pro Stitcher at Daytona and she was told there's going to be a new tablet. Yeah, I have no clue. I'm going to have to send a text out and find out. Um, and I, I'm trying to think. I will know more in a few weeks. If any of you are in St. Louis, um, oh, so personal is having, um, they're calling it a stitch fest. And it's like two days or three days of like classes and stuff. I'll be there. Look at, look into it. And then we can, you can say hi. And then we can, you can have a drink and I'll have a sparkling water. Um, beside your schedules, you have a great social life. Uh, yes, we do have a lot of fun here. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. All these people are saying happy birthday to you, buddy. Yeah. My favorite thing is he'll smell your mouth, but he doesn't lick you. Where Ozzy would stick his tongue in your mouth. Look at you. Say hi. Okay, I'll put you down. I'll put you down. Come here, Oz. Okay, Ozzy ran away, so he's not going to get put up. They can't really fit and get in here because of everything. Um, okay, let's see. Happy birthday. The motor and machine icons on the bottom of my poster screen are not green. Is that a problem? Come here. Um, yes, if they are not green, they should always be green. For the, No, they should be green when it's not running. I think they change color when it runs. It's not something I always pay attention to. Is your machine working? Um, if they're not green, if one of them is and one of them isn't, that means something's, that something's not talking to the other one. Do you have a lightning bolt where your uh, padlock is? Uh, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, blah, 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 blah. they're cute, they're cute, oh my goodness, I understand not having time, hi Kelly Klein, uh, works fine, what's this one over here, uh, Mary, Mary, I'm working with Laura Star now, they're both not green, Uh, I will still be doing videos using Pro Stitcher. Um, my Adam So Fun videos are all me. It was never like Handy Quilter. It was never, it, I'm using a Handy Quilter. I'm using Pro Stitcher because that's what I have. But it's always been my channel, my content. Like everything on there is something I thought of. So um, there's been times where I, you know, would talk to people. Like when Jen was over at uh, Pro Stitcher or at Quiltable, um, we collabed with a lot of stuff and she was like, Hey, do you want to do this? Like, do you want to work here? I'll send you some designs if you want to do it. 
and stuff, but it's still always been my stuff. Um, hold on, I'm turning my machine on now. Look, I said I gotta go and then I did this. I'm trying to think. If I move this here. I had to move my machine so when it turns on, I can see what colors mine are. Oh. I'm so glad I was going to message you and see if you have got, if you had gotten your, um, your iron yet. I love that. You love it. Kelly Klein just got her, uh, Laura star. Um, how do I make them green? Um, if they're not green, that means something's that there's a bad connection somewhere. I, but let me let it boot up. Um, so something is not plugged in, right? You used to be able to find, um, let's see, Pro Citra Posse at one time had a, I don't think I can get there from here. I got to go here. Facebook changed and now you have to like, Pro Stitcher Posse. In the file section of the Pro Stitcher Posse, there used to be like a machine icons. There was, there's a, there's a file, there used to be a file in there that would show you pictures of the different uh, icons and what they meant and how to fix the different colors. But, that's superior threads. That's not what I want. Why wouldn't it say that? Um, so you go look through the file section of Procedure Posse and see if you can find it. I just can't remember. I never downloaded it. Well, now my things are covered up. Hold on. <clears throat> Yeah, they should be green. I'm kind of scrolling through. I don't even know what the icons are called. I just called them the little icon icons. Um, I wonder if I can ch chunk in positioning. Screen binding, crawling around here. Or post a picture on the, on the procedure posse and say, why aren't these green? <laughs> um, user manual simulation. Yeah, I don't have, I don't know. I scrolled through here really quick. I didn't see it, but I don't, again, it was really quick. So yeah, I would look there. Um, Pro Stitcher Premium Reference Guide. This one. Well, now I'm downloading files. No, Wayna, that's not what I wanted. They didn't even have a reference of what they're called. Yeah, I would um, post a picture. Post a picture on Post a and see if you can get an answer there. I have no clue. Sorry, you did stump me. Uh, that doesn't happen that often. <laughs> Um, oh, Dina's had her lore star for seven years. That's the one thing with the lore stars that, um, especially working with them now and like going to shows and chatting with people. Um, my favorite was a student came in and she has a lift and I knew she had a lift and, um, she was like, oh my gosh, I love my lift and my car, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, what, uh, when are you going to get a system? Like, you can have two, right? And she said, I have one. It's 15 years old. Working with Laura Star, be, just because they're not as big in the States as they are in um, the rest of the world, what people don't realize is, are they expensive? 100%. Like, I'm not going to pretend that it's not an expensive iron. But when you think about, okay, well, that iron's going to last 10 years or 15 years, um, they're guaranteed repairable for 10. So it's going to last at least 10 that like, okay, well I was buying 
Basically, I was getting a new iron every two-ish years, like a good iron. So if you're getting a Liso, uh, a, a good, reliable um, steam station or um, a Rowenta steam station or, you know, any of those, and you're paying 200 bucks for an iron or 250 bucks, you know, if you're getting one every two years, you've just bought a Lorsar lift. So um, that's it's one of those things. It's like, they're going to last and last and last. I did meet someone in uh, Washington who had hers for 22 and that that's crazy. No, they don't make anything like that anymore. So um, we have a good iron this is built to last and it will not get things this flat because I finger press this, but it'll make your box look like this. I'm so dumb. Um, okay, I really have to go because like I said, like a half hour ago, I got to go get some stuff done. So um, I just lost it. It was probably something good too. Uh, I probably won't see you next week. I'm going to be on the road. I leave on Monday and I don't get back until Thursday. Uh, possibly peek in on Friday, maybe. Uh I don't know. We'll see. Um, but have a wonderful week. Have a great weekend. If you need anything, you know how to get a hold of me. Don't need anything, though. <laughs> uh, Jody, I'm not promising anything for Friday, so I'm not going to even say a time. Uh, who knows? if It's, it's probably not going to happen, especially after being gone four days. Usually I come back from an event, and it's the rest of the, day, the, rest of the next day is spent trying to get emails and orders and everything processed. So um, we will see you all on the flip side. I'll see you when I see you. And um, thanks for spending some time with me. Don't forget, Glidefoot3. If you have Laura Star questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Um, let's uh, die to try. This beautiful die to try from AccuQuilt. It comes out on April 2nd, which is next Tuesday. So you'll be able to see it then. Um, what time to clean your sewing room or make time? Make time to clean my sewing room? Yes. Sure. <laughs> I'll put some more stuff in the black bin and stick it in the in the garage. Actually, I have to clean because um, we're putting solar on the house. So Ben said, you realize people have to get in the garage. I go, can you buy me a dumpster? <laughs> I think we can rent one. Okay, I got to go. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.